Chapter 10 Deficiencies of Teachers Many of our teachers have much to unlearn and much of a different character to learn. Unless they are willing to do this, unless they become thoroughly familiar with the Word of God and their minds are absorbed in studying the glorious truths concerning the life of the great teacher, they will encourage the very errors the Lord is seeking to correct. Plans and opinions that should not be entertained will imprint themselves on the mind, and in all honesty they will come to wrong and dangerous conclusions. Thus, seed will be sown that is not true grain. Many customs and practices common in schoolwork, and which may be regarded as little things, cannot now be brought into our schools. It may be difficult for teachers to give up long-cherished ideas and methods, but if they will honestly and humbly inquire at every step, Is this the way of the Lord? And will yield to His guidance. He will lead them in safe paths, and their views will change by experience. The teachers in our schools need to search the Scriptures until they understand them for their individual selves, opening their hearts to the precious rays of light which God has given and walking therein. They will then be taught of God and will labor in entirely different lines, bringing into their instruction less of the theories and sentiments of men who have never had a connection with God. They will honor finite wisdom far less and will feel a deep soul hunger for that wisdom which comes from God. To the question Christ put to the twelve, Will ye also go away? Peter answered, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. John 6, verses 67 through 69. When teachers bring these words into the work of their classrooms, the Holy Spirit will be present to do its work upon minds and hearts.